um, basically, I've known you for about two years now, or even more. And, yeah. and uh, first met you was in Ran Mafana, where we were doing our little project. And here roof. we are, I yes, and here we are in Hollywood. Just take us to what is IMAX, because you, you, I mean, it was breathtaking to see the film yesterday. And I've never seen that kind of film before, so I felt I like I was going inside the rainforest. Um, and, and this IMAX thing, of course, we don't have it in Madagascar, but uh, over here, I guess it's already even a, an old technology or... Well, okay, the, the, um, the process that, that we use to make this, this film about Madagascar and about the lemurs of Madagascar is, is called IMAX, and it was a process developed in Canada, and, and it was a way of to, to put a very large number of people in front of a, a, a very high quality picture all at the same time, it was it was a way to improve uh, what already existed in, in motion pictures. So, so, and the reason to do that was because there was a, a sort of a con con continuing uh, series of world's fairs around the world, and every four years, some big city around the world would become the host, and all the different countries would put uh, a pavilion there and try to display the best things about their country. And this process, IMAX, was developed for originally for the Japanese, oh. so that they could so that they could present uh, their their um, you know a, a picture of their country, of their nation, and their people, and their and their, their national uh, uh, identity All right. to the world. And yeah. and uh, so this became this became very successful in uh, in 1970 for the mm -hmm. first time. And, and uh, so it continued to be a platform which developed every four years after that. And so eventually it became by far the best image making uh, technology in the world. And, uh, and so in the past couple of decades it has been, it has been commercialized so that the, the Hollywood films as well can benefit from this high mm. quality picture. The real world, it became a documentary medium. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and because the picture is so enormously detailed and uh, enormously high quality it's very hard to do sort of fantasy at that level so so if you shoot documentary with it then you have the benefit of the reality being brought yeah. into the into the audience's uh, mind and and uh, and, and it, uh, conversely if you're trying to do a fantasy then you have the burden of making it convincing enough that an audience <laughs> will actually go there yeah and uh, yeah, so it's a double-edged sword and and uh, the the reality side the documentary side uh, brings its own benefits and, and so doc, uh, uh, Madagascar was a perfect subject for, for yeah. a documentary yeah. on on this process because it's someplace for us in the other the outside world it's, it's a strange new world of many uh, living things that we haven't seen before mm -hmm. people and culture that we're not familiar with yeah. and uh, and um, and it's it's a beautiful beautiful place that that uh, and that sure has the lemurs were really beautiful in it. So, um, how many how many years have you been doing this now, working for the IMAX? Well, uh, I've been working with IMAX since 1970. So that's about wow. 43 years now. Wow! That I've been so doing this kind of work. Yes. And uh, I hope I'm getting better. Oh. Certainly trying. <laughs> David, thank you very much. It was really uh, an honor to, to have seen that film with a wow. breathtaking, as I said, uh, your, what your a cinematography. Your music was such a huge contribution, <laughs> and uh, you can, as you'll hear from everybody who sees it, yeah. they, they all remark on the music, and, and I am lifted by it every time I see the picture. Oh, thank you.